before this term microaggression was introduced six months ago, um, <laughs> did you ever have things that you would run up against where you were like, oh, I just wish that white people stopped doing X? Yeah, all the time. Like what? Meth. <laughs> So, yeah. Pete Buttigieg, for people who don't know, he sent this out, I believe, to all of his staffers. He did. Yes. The microaggression test. Oh, from that's, Pete Buttigieg. Mm, that's good. Mm. So, I want to know if anyone else. Yeah. We did the white privilege survey uh, a while back. So, question right. today Have any of you ever taken or been forced to take from your HR department at your office a microaggressions test? And what did you score? I try and set the high score. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like a ping pong yeah. machine. Is that not how it is? Yeah. Racial epithet. Boom! Mm -hmm. And then I tap it. So, um, do you still play? Does anyone still play ping? It's lost not, on you. It's not you and your iPhones and your TikToks. Um, so this comes from Pete Buttigieg, who's obviously been struggling with black voters. Pinball. I wonder why. Uh, the man is positively translucent, and this was sent out a survey on microaggressions in the workplace. So thank the Lord for the New York Times because we have the ability to print this out. And apparently. Um. On a 1997 uh, Xerox machine. <laughs> yeah. Someone went to Kinko's. <laughs> Oldie but goody, baby. Oldie but goody. Um, and this is it meant works. to, it says here, so I want you guys to all take it. We have the link, uh, I believe, in the description. Okay. Survey microaggressions in the workplace. Please only fill out the survey if you identify as a person of color. Identify. Uh, mm. We hey, identify. That's, that's me. <laughs> Everyone. I had to think about it. <laughs> hey, I actually identify as white. Really? Yeah. No, we oh, don't care. Yeah. We won't, we'll never accept Whoa. you amongst our ranks. Oh, White so, is yeah. a color, so, isn't it? It's a shade. How dare you, sir? But the answers are anonymous and will be used to inform our white colleagues about privilege and microaggressions. Uh, <laughs> that sounds scary. In other words, it's not going to the fuzz. Hold on, can I ask yeah. you a question? How did they decide which ones were white or not white? And the re this is a legitimate question. Because it is. If they have to self-identify, that meant they went around to everyone and they said, Do you okay, should you get this e email or, or should you um, not get this email? And we should, that sounds like an SS I'm triggered thing by this. We should know that the answers are a plus minus of about 19% because Rachel Dolezal was counted four times. Oh, I don't know how she again. got. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the she Iowa field so team. Shifty. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? Hats off to her. She really committed. It was the weave. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So I, we will all answer it. Okay. But considering that we only identify as people of color, which is about as legitimate as someone identifying as a biological oh, female. But mm. hey, your rule is not ours. Less. I'm primarily going to focus on the two people of color, quarter black Garrett and half Asian lawyer Bill Richmond. Thank you. And I you look definitively more Asian than he looks black. Yeah, that's for sure. No, hey, don't. don't. Don't it do just, that. I, this is, <laughs> this is, that hurts. This is the reason for the test. <laughs> don't you no, just no, laugh at him? Don't, 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 this cousin, is a microaggression. This is exactly are, right. His cousins are going, he still don't know about the milkman. <laughs> 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 all right, so oh, most all right. of these What's questions the will be directed at you. Okay, so macro these questions. First question. <laughs> macro. This is, yeah, this is not a beneath the service. <laughs> nope. These are in your, right in your face. Over the table. In the workplace, have you ever experienced the following from a white colleague? I appreciate mm. you uniting America. <laughs> I know, right? Together. Have you ever experienced this uh, from a crucial <laughs> White colleagues. That's exactly what I read. Uh, being interrupted or talked over. Yes. Yeah, no, Hold on, I, I want to hear from Court of Black's Yes, that's going to be yes. Yeah. Okay, yes, both of you. I've right. never, never not experienced that. But what if you had been interrupted by not a white colleague? Uh, then it's okay. What happens there? The universe explodes and everyone votes for Trump. <laughs> so that's Before or after the explosion? Oh, you know what? Uh, screw my rules. Uh, yeah. I want everyone to answer this because, you know, I'm white. And Gerald, really? you're very white. And Thank then Audio you. Wade is, I mean, you're whiter than butt kick. Yeah, yeah. Can, I, can we answer <laughs> this question in no two comes. ways? I want everyone to answer the question both with the with from a white colleague, but also from a non-white colleague. Right. Because I'm fairly certain I've done every one of these to Gerald twice today. <laughs> so. <laughs> and by the way, uh, as far as the interrupted, I, it's happened, I would say, 100% of my female colleagues. <laughs> I always get interrupted. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, Oops. Gerald, stop interrupting. Uh, yes. So who here has, let's see, show of hands. I, I yeah. think we've all been interrupted yeah, here. Right. Yeah, I've been interrupted. Yeah. Like a person. Yeah. Who here has been interrupted by exclusively white colleagues? We're really learning something about ourselves. <laughs> I only surround myself with uh, Okay. The introspection Whoa. is amazing. In the workplace, <laughs> again, jokes. Whoa. It's let me keep the through true. line here. What did you say? Nothing. Bleep it. Bleep it. <laughs> I can't trust him to anything that he says that goes out to air. Just bleep it. Air in, the, air in the side of caution. Uh, again, in the workplace, have you ever experienced the following from a white colleague? Have you ever been left off a relevant email chain? Aw. Sad when that's yeah. Well, you know, this wouldn't have been a question until Obama phone lady. That's true. 
Who's a Obama phone lady? <laughs> he got Obama phone! In other words, yeah. now everybody Mitt is being Robbie excluded sucks. from email chains. Oh. Turns out she was right it's in the okay. second it's part. It's a dated reference. I mean, I'd have to check my email. <laughs> no. <laughs> How do you do that on this paper? How does someone yeah. answer this? Okay, has anyone here ever been left off a relevant email chain? Yeah. Well, you were left off. How do you know? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, you yeah. know, you, you don't receive any emails meeting. because you were left out of all of them. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, yeah. I don't know. Um, I, you know Until what? I, I mean, don't. people, Sad. I leave myself off relevant email chains. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, guys. Just handle it. I'll be back. I don't want the yeah, notifications. Exactly. I guess let's it's all so say, stupid. I mean, I would assume yeah. that all of us were left off of email chains at yeah, some I point. Yes. 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 In the workplace, have you ever experienced the following from a white colleague? I have to read this every single time to make sure. Mm. Not invited to a meeting directly related to your job. That happens all the time, I, accidentally. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And what, what's directly related? I, I hate to parse words here or like to try to dig deeper. Then, then don't, really. don't do it. <laughs> it seems, Stop. Yeah, it seems as though. What you're doing on. is this. What I want you to do is this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Miriam Webster, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jared, no, no. But I actually do. I'm going to take that all back and say, Gerald, you do have a correct point, which is... What does invite to a meeting directly related to job? The directly, is it related? Whose assignings are related? Yeah. Is everything that goes not exactly your way? You this is what I mean. That, that, that is white. Ross referenced this survey yes. with the boss. Well, no, this and is, the boss can't be white because it will be immediately would, discarded. It would, it would Correct. That, how you're do liberals asking, live? You're I don't asking know. for people. I don't know. You're asking for people to have a problem. Yes. All right. So show of hands, who's ever been not accidentally or or premeditatedly not invited premeditated. to a meeting? Yeah. White okay. people against me. I'm telling you, it right. happens. Now, let me ask you, Quarter Black Garrett and Half Asian Bill, any of these so far, of these three, uh, do you feel like they were due to your race? Um, yes. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I do. Justification. Well, when I was um, I was leading a professional organization of Asian attorneys that would frequently leave me out because I'm half white. <laughs> um, okay. Next one. In the workplace, have you ever experienced the fo- Pete Buckig? Have you ever experienced the following from a white colleague, in case people are just tuning in? Uh, The idea, your idea was ignored, dismissed, without explanation. I'd really like to move on to a different topic and (laughs) ignore Stephen entirely. Yes. And dismiss him without explanation. explanation. Specifically because I think that was in the contract that we signed to be on the show. Pete, Pete, Mayor Pete, has never listened to any of my ideas, and he's never (laughs) given me. I will say this, though. I think that this is just, this is, like, these questions, if the answers are really yes and they're exclusive, it's just because you're in a crappy workplace. Because I do feel as though. Oh, oh, like we don't take all ideas, of course. Like in the rule of comedy, you know, out of ten bits that you may write, or if we do a meat segment, right. maybe one finally makes it to air. But we pretty much hear everyone's ideas, right? Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. And you laugh at them and mock them mercilessly if they're not <laughs> if funny. They're mo- if yeah, they're and that dead. itself becomes funny. Right. Right. What, is this Gerald. like? Is this written for like the front office of the Klan? Like it's a black person <laughs> trying to work? Is, like at, 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 the only place is, well, this, I guess yeah. that's a yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's because that's we did the awkward. whole sketch. Yeah, um, really it did happen. Context matters, Pete Butkin. <laughs> really, really. Like, why was that item yeah. up there? Maybe we we're not know. the best to answer these questions. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Again, the survey for people just tuning in. Microaggressions in the workplace. In the workplace, have you ever experienced the following from a white colleague? Oh. Someone else taking credit for your idea or insight, <laughs> even accidentally. Well, how could you know? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. wow. Even accidentally. My mm. idea. Yeah, burgers every day for breakfast. It's true. Yes. That was you. And we don't even have a cafeteria. No, I know. Yeah. You're just going to cater to just bring it in a motorized cart. Yes, exactly. exactly. And I stole it. He was trying to sorry, get a hover around sponsorship just to bring in the burgers. No, mm-hmm. you could have. You could have. Someone else taking credit for your idea or insight. It's just, uh, they're so vague. I don't understand. Like, yeah, it, this stuff like this happens to everybody. How do you live? Every day. Well, I will say this. Yeah. I am always very concerned. We were just talking about this with Audio Wade yeah. not long ago uh, before a run through where you guys will be watching the clips and we do a run through before the show where we look at the clips to make sure the audio levels are right and we right. make sure that our talking points are proper and at least that we're informed. A lot of this, this it's not right. run on prompter. Like right now, there is no prompter. This is Young Turks. I mean, uh, Come on. No, it's not Young Turks or, or Fox Nation, but oh. um, you often will come up with like a quip watching a clip, you know, just mm-hmm. sort of, come, and it's funny. Right, I'm like, yeah. hey, remember that. Remember that. Because mm-hmm. there have right. been times where I'm like, remember that, bring it in on air, and you yeah. don't, and then I use it. Yeah. And now, because I, I never want to be that guy who takes it and gets the death glare. It's like, right. put it in. It was funny. You take <laughs> credit for it. it. Yeah, exactly. I don't give the death glare, by the way. Yeah. You do. Nobody you do. Does. It's do just I? you're not aware of it because of your glasses. They're like oh, magnifying glasses yeah. wow. into your. Uh, Empty soul. <laughs> it's a I'm shark's eyes. The abyss of your eyes. eyes. 
Farewell, Audio Wayne, for your Spanish <laughs> ladies. Okay, uh, I mean, I guess, I mean, pretty much, we're going to go through these because we still have a segment to do, but they're yes. all going to be yes. Yeah. What else I you got? Mean, yes pretty much. The uh, have you ever, in the workplace, have you ever experienced the following from a white colleague been called the name of a different staff member of color? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I did just refer to you as Bruce Lee. Well, just no, 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 We no, can I rewind mean, that. You'd have yeah. to have more quarter blacks. Uh, I have been for referred to, to no. in a meeting as Carl and Kim Jong Bill. So, you know, all of us. You know. Yes. Yeah. But I get it. That's I because you handed out name cards. I did. They said Carl. Yeah, it was your business card. It's been called the name of a different staff member of color hmm. wait does that just mean have you if anyone ever works at your okay can i can i actually give you a good example of this so my mom is from hong kong so she speaks chinese in chinese the same word it, there's one word for he and she you just you, it's just gender neutral you how do they deal with the transgender thing i, I have no idea they, I have, they have no problem but i will can i will. have her on the show yes i will bring her on the show and <laughs> okay. she can tell you but so sometimes like that's gross for a while she would sometimes <laughs> get confused and, and miscommunicate the pronouns and i've often thought that if she was ever in a situation where she had to deal with someone's new pronouns that her head would explode uh, it would just be very <laughs> yeah. cool. but but by the same token like when you think of folks who are uh you attribute in your mind what someone looks like and if you're dealing with the same person over and over again your mind just says okay i differentiate this person in these very very block type ways yeah. and i give them this name if someone comes in that has substantially the same very visible block features you're going to sometimes get those things confused and i've had colleagues who are minorities who would say it's not uncommon. Yeah. We do it with white people all the time. Yeah, that's yeah. your internalized Everybody does racism. It. I saw a man at so. Quick Trip who looked just like 50 Cent. <laughs> See, there oh. you go. But it was 50 Cent. <laughs> but it was. Cent. Did he have the blood I, actually told, I think I told you that. He, I said, uh, hey, has anyone ever told you look like 50 Cent? He goes, he goes what? oh, what, because I'm black? I said, no, no. He's like, no, I'm just kidding. I get it all the time. <laughs> 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 he legitimately looks like 50 Cent. Uh, okay. Other? What does right good? There. Here's a question. This is that pro, uh -oh. Uh -oh. concludes uh -oh. the box checking question portion. Time. This is good. Okay, yeah. now we're in the what short What does order. good allyship look like to you? What does good allyship feel like? <laughs> Quarter Black Garrett, your thoughts. You know, every time I come into work, I like to see uh, watermelons. Oh boy! Presented to me and mm. fried chicken. That's how I know you guys are. That's allies. so racist. Boy, that keto phase was sure short-lived. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> is fried chicken not keto friendly? <laughs> fried chicken is fine, I think. Well, no, the no, breading. No, it's, no, it's, it's the, the breading. breading. It's the breading. Yeah. You got to go. Got to go grilled. Yeah, it's true. Bone grilled. Grilled. If you go bone. Uh, what about you, Bill? What does good allyship feel Bones like? Could be fried. Yeah. Not setting me. And surveys about my progressions <laughs> and further highlighting the difference between mm -hmm. me and someone else based on my f***ing skin color. Right. Like, right. There's nothing <laughs> crazier in my mind than being like, hey, look, I need to get all of you. Okay, yeah. how are you going to decide to divide us? Well, um, here's a color palette. And if you're on this side, go to that room. And if you're on this yeah. side, go to that room. Well, but but actually, I grew up uh, in the, you know, like I grew up in this area that was like really, really nice and I have nothing in common and I yeah. never experienced any of these hardships. Um, shut the up, go over there, check the box. And do yeah. you feel that people aren't listening to you because of your race? No, they don't listen to me because sometimes they say stupid shit. <laughs> like, and sometimes they don't listen because what I'm saying is so good and they're stupid and full of shit. Yeah. So yeah, it's of course, everything yes. to do with the it's substance. It has it's nothing to do with the skin. How can, how can you say that there's a survey meant to help people look at the content of the character, again, hearkening back to MLK, and yet all you're focused on is the skin color? So what does good allyship feel like? I'll put down like a warm hug. Yeah, warm hug. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, like I would like Fine. a two, two pat on the back to know when I should release the hug. Double yeah. tap. Okay. Uh, well, I think this is redundant because you just answered it. What does bad allyship look like to you? <laughs> surveys. Well, it seems like yes. Pete Buttigieg. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Pete Buttigieg and his staff surveys. All right. Uh, what does allyship in the workplace look like? Look like what to that, you. What, oh what my god! Like? Hey, hey! I'm just gonna say this, and it's not directed at anyone personally, but it's bringing enough water into the office and putting it in the fridge. I, yes. I, agree with, I agree with that. Mm, who doesn't agree like with that? that? We okay. have a water cooler. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Filling the water cooler then. <laughs> right. Filling the water cooler. That's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah, but uh, I like to destroy the environment. Allyship. That's true. Yeah, yeah, you like the plastic bottles. Yeah. You and Chris Pratt. Um, <laughs> this is so redundant. What does yeah. good allyship look like? What does bad redundant. allyship look like? What does allyship in the workplace look like to you? So in other words, you're asking people about microaggressions in the workplace, but you're just asking them about good allyship in it's general in general. life? Yeah. So, because they don't know. I'm so they glad Pete Buttigieg's gonna lose hard. <laughs> 
We have two final questions. This one is a longer yes. one. Again, microaggressions yeah. in the workplace. It's a big one. Kick. Think of a moment or moments during which you experienced microaggressions mm. without naming names of the people. Bill, you oh, said it's going to be anonymous. I know. <laughs> without naming names of people, can you name the microaggression? Describe those moments. What was the physical environment like? It was hot. If it happened in the ether, for example, in Slack, email, or text, is that e- is that the constitute ether? the ether? Wow. The ether trying to I like thought the ether was like nothingness. Yeah. Space. Uh, no, it, okay. what is this? It can have little things in it. All right. <laughs> Apparently, Slack. Were there yeah. witnesses to it? Apparently, Slack s- exists in the in betweens <laughs> of the human dimension. In the That's what the Empress down. meant. She meant Slack was coming. Identify that. Were there witnesses to it? And if so, do you think they recognized it? Hold, hold the, oh, no, I lost, why is lost the me. dash there? Do. Can we show the dash on the camera? Yeah, because yeah, no, we should have that as an overlay. We'll have it. Do. Yeah, there's a dash. This whole survey's. Jared, Jared, this yeah, is Yeah, why is the dash? No, no, it's not. There. Jared, the dash is after. The M dash is after do. Shouldn't it be before yeah. do? It should be before Audio or way, you're not at all. grammatical prick. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it so. should be clear. I only asked him because he's the whitest one here, yeah. so I assume he has stellar yeah. schooling. Is if he wasn't oh, here, you would have asked right. me and been told wrong. I, if I wanted to ask Leave. how to lose a rose bowl, you'd be first. <laughs> we don't get to play in the rose bowl because orange bowl. Well, Dust it bowl. just depends. Dust bowl. Yes, that yeah, one's much more fun. <laughs> okay. I'm so Without sorry. naming any names, <laughs> can you name the microaggression? Gerald breathing. During those moments, what That's was the physical environment like? A garage studio. Okay, let me ask you. Okay, let me actually try and frame this in something right. real. And even though I think this is a totally invalid uh, questionnaire, and I think yep. that it divides people by categories and then by race. Before this term microaggression was introduced six months ago, um, <laughs> did you ever have things that you would run up against where you were like, oh, I just wish that white people stopped doing X? Yeah, all the time. Like what? Meth. <laughs> I don't know why you laugh. You guys real. started it as a kamikaze. <laughs> no, we did it right. You guys just <laughs> took it to the wrong level. You guys were do doing mean? it and going into Pearl Harbor. They're doing yeah. it and just loitering around a liquor store. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. We, so, we killed so ourselves be productive. In on. all honesty, there is not a single thing that I could say to you that I just see white people doing. Right. Because inevitably, with enough, if you meet enough people of any other race, you're going to see those types of people doing the same type of thing that is disrespectful regardless of their color. Right. So maybe of, of the color of the speaker. Right. So if a white person says they're not going to listen to me, it's maybe it's because of my race, maybe it's not. But you can meet another person of another race and they're going to go, oh, I'm Japanese, Chinese or sh-. Right? I mean, yeah, and, right. You know, yeah. You're going to be like, oh, right. okay, got it. Right. All right. Oh, oh, you're not the right kind of Chinese. or whatever. I mean, there yeah. are people of all kinds of races, and that's why you got to get past that. That's not to yeah. say that there weren't people well, doing racist things, but that's not everyone. Here's here's the thing. Well, and to better serve our I didn't get any of that, but we'll make sure to translate the Mandarin. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> Cantonese. Thank you. Oh. Oh. So here's the thing. my I have a, a stepbrother. He's full black. He was complaining about how he's always followed in shopping centers. People are always suspicious about him. I've been pulled over and searched, got pulled out of my car. It's because you drive searched. like It is. <laughs> True. Yeah. Hey, I didn't know you were Asian. <laughs> <laughs> I've been searched like three times. He's never been pulled By the way, over. you don't have to submit, having Bill can tell you, you don't have to submit yourself to those searches if there's no reasonable. Yeah, but I'm so hey, cordial. Sometimes I was you like, just want to be held. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from the back. Aww. Human touch. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But like, he sees it from a perspective of I'm black, so they are doing these things because I'm black. Right. Not just I'm a person and yeah. things happen to me because I'm a person. And like, that's not to life. say that there aren't that that the situations yeah. don't yeah. happen, sure, but yeah, they do. every single situation. Right. If you're not living for it every this time, is conditioning that's people. a problem. This yeah. really is, it is. societal right. reengineering to condition people to see everything to through see the that. lens of right. race. Right. Mm-hmm. Is, yes. Did this happen with exclusively white people? And did they do it because of your race? This is actually coaching people to ascribe motive. Right. You can't know what's accidental or not. Mm. And it's also confusing as hell because identifying as a person of color, how do you identify? Like, seriously. Well, I'm I just not, they have to be careful being... about that now because even though they used to joke about how transracial isn't a thing, now they have to acknowledge no, 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 it's a I thing am... lest they but, lose a voting block. That's fine, but it's a person of color still, right? So it, you could right. say you're not identifying. You are 25% mm. black. Yeah. That's not an identification. That's a right. fact. Right. <laughs> you know, like, so I, I, I'm a they don't deal in the realm of facts. This survey doesn't deal in the realm of facts. It, it entirely really deals doesn't. in the realm of conjecture and projection. Yeah. Let me and give you an idea, too, that's their whole side. to put it into context. Think about the first time as a white person out there, or as a black person, honestly. Let's we'll use this as an example. You went to uh, an Asian restaurant, like an authentic Chinese restaurant, an authentic, right. I don't know, Szechuan restaurant. I'll, I'll use, because Chinese American is kind of, the, mutters, the, the, the waters are kind of muddied. Yeah. But like, I remember when I went to a Szechuan restaurant or a Vietnamese yeah. restaurant for the first time. 
I didn't know anything. So if I'm confusing terms and I'm confusing n names and I'm asking, I'm like, well, that seems like the same thing. I'm still confused as to what the difference is between a quesadilla and an enchilada. I, I still need someone to coach me on it. <laughs> Yeah. That's just because we're exploring oh, new cultures. Steven. Anytime you're exploring a new culture or Beans learning about a new culture, there's yeah. that impact point yeah. where you do have to go through the learning process. And guess what? You're going to be a little bit ignorant. And now we are dissuading people from actually curing themselves of ignorance because the only way to do that is to make mistakes. The only way to learn to ride a bike is to make mistakes. The only way to learn how to read is to make mistakes. You make mistakes until you figure it out. And it doesn't mean that those mistakes are hateful. This is scary if an entire generation of people yeah. are being raised yeah. on this ideology. Right. It's, it's saying just make sure you remember that if any of these things ever happened to you, it was because of your race. Exactly. Exactly. Right. It's one hundred percent because you are a color and they are white. That's don't, yeah, why. don't inquire any further. Mm -hmm. Just remember it's you versus them. Right. And that's it's ridiculous. It, this is easy, right? It, it, do these two things. Don't walk around looking to be offended in life and don't walk around being a prick. If both of those things happen, <laughs> yeah. you're gonna be just fine and to quote the great Taylor Swift, there is no such thing as a prick. That's true. Or a <laughs> <laughs> or or flesh. Or All right, final question. This one, I don't know. I would argue, seems a little broad. Uh, do you have anything else to share? <laughs> oh, we want the dirt. Most, that's the most vague question. I love this. It's literally like a FBI narc survey. <laughs> yeah, they're like, <laughs> do you have anyone here that you would like to get thrown into a dungeon? Right. Are there any other Gerald? white people that you need to tell on? Well, Mayor Pete. <laughs> well... Uh, I don't know. Anything else to share? Any other? Uh, no. I mean, I guess this is anything with your mom. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just shocked that a a white gay mayor well, from a city that's predominantly black is having a hard time getting the black vote. I okay. Think that's that's just yeah. difficult. I under, as the as the token white patriarch slash boss, I will end it with this. <laughs> I want to make sure that you understand that I say this, so I do have something else to share, and um, it has nothing to do, I do not uh, attribute it at all to half Asian Bill's race, and I would not denigrate an entire race of people Never. because mm. of the actions of one, but um, half Asian Bill raped Gerald. I wanted to get that off my chest, oh, and I know Steven. we said so we wouldn't nice talk about it, but I think we should get it out in the open. Trust. And I know it really I've been holding that in, and I know. I'm so glad you did it. I know, I am so glad too, and it's not because he's Asian, it's just a dominance thing. Uh, all right, thank you so much. Uh, I don't know, we have something Ow. else after this. I hate this survey. Everyone crumpling them up. I can't yeah. eat it. If you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe or hit the notification bell in one of these buttons or watch another video. Um, but you know, this, the, the thing is you don't, um, I mean, you don't, you don't have to. Uh, I mean, I, I've, I'd like it if you did. You know, you know, put a lot of effort into it. And, you know, whatever you want.